What's up? Welcome back to the Metalhead Car Show. We've been talking about it for a while, but it's finally here and Dodge has finally announced the official production version of the new 2025 Dodge Charger. Some photos were leaked out a little while ago, really showing what the production car is going to look like. But Dodge is hiding so much up their sleeve, even with these early leaked out production shots. I find it incredible the fact that we've had leaked photos of the car way before it actually got shown off officially and none of us knew there was a sedan version coming out along with the coupe. I also love the fact that Dodge was capable of making a coupe and sedan version still making it look good as when some companies seem to have a real big problem with doing that. I love how old school this thing looks. I love the fact that even with the sedan body that we have never seen before on this particular car, looks totally natural with it. It reminds me of seeing like, let's just say an old Chevelle, but seeing the four-door version of the Chevelle, and you still have got that badass look, but it's just a four-door, and that's how I feel about this thing. It's still cool, it's still a badass car, it just has two more doors to it. But the Dodge Charger isn't just about how many doors it has, it's about its power plant. Now, a lot of people are whining the fact that this does not have a V8, and it is true, it does not have a V8, and it will be missed. This is actually only the second time a Dodge Charger has actually never been offered with a V8 of any kind. The last one being like the hatchback front-wheel drive Charger from the 80s. But this thing makes a little bit more power than that car. The base model is the six pack SO, which truthfully I don't know what SO means, I find out at the time of editing it means this, but it comes with a baseline, a base model of 420 horsepower. And then you go up to the six pack HO and the RT. And both of those have the same twin turbo straight six, but they've been up to an official 550 horsepower. That's officially more than any naturally aspirated V8 Dodge Charger in production history. But we're getting one more, and that is the SRT Daytona Banshee. And the horsepower numbers aren't confirmed with this, but we figure it's gonna be all wheel drive. We know it's gonna be electric. And the horsepower we're guessing right now is somewhere between 800 and 900 horsepower, which, like it or not, that thing is going to be unbelievably fast. And since it's a Dodge, it should even be priced reasonably. What we're guessing with pricing right now is this thing's going to start at $40,000. We're probably going to see some $50,000, $55,000 options. And likely the EV versions will be somewhere around $100,000. All of this before dealership markup. So let me know in the comments what you think this thing will be marked up to. I gotta say, I'm actually very impressed by this car. I'm really impressed the fact that they made one version that's a full EV along with a full gas-powered version and there's no kind of bullshit with it. See, with some cars, whenever they make an EV version of it, they have a lot of extra lighting to it and a lot of weird things to make it confirm that this is an electric. As when, with this car, you're gonna see some extra badging, but there's no real dumb gimmicks like that on here. It's the Dodge Charger, you get your options of doors, you have two different engine options, and that's it. Now the one thing that isn't confirmed yet is the performance, so we're gonna do a little bit of speculation on that. I think the best gas-powered version is gonna have some sort of launch control. I think it's gonna be a rear-wheel drive, but it's gonna have some sort of launch control, and I think it's gonna do a zero to 60 of 3.8 seconds. That may be a little bit far-fetched, but that's my current guess. I think the slowest version is gonna end up being something like 4.7, maybe a 4.6 seconds, zero to 60. And the fastest version we're gonna get, which is the SRT Banshee, is probably gonna do something along the lines of 2.3 to 2.5 seconds. I'm actually very impressed with the looks. I think it was such a good idea to go back to its roots and do the a new second gen Dodge Charger. It would have been really easy for Dodge to make this a Tesla competition or a brand new Lucid Air and make everything nice and thin and have everything nice and sleek, but instead they go with this boxy look that looks like a Gen 2 Dodge Charger. I can't wait to see this thing in the metal. I can't wait to see this thing on the road. Dodge, if you have one laying around, I'd love to take it out for a weekend. Um, let me know if you're up for it. <laughs> in conclusion, I am a fan of this thing. I can't wait to see people mod that six cylinder. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a Hellcat swap right away. No one's gonna waste time on that. And if the chance ever comes, I'm looking forward to driving one. 
But I want to know, what do you think? What do you think of the new official 2025 Dodge Charger? Are you excited for it? Do you think it's cool, the fact that there is a coupe and sedan version of it? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and enjoy the view scene. I post on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and I'll see you later.